you know, Tom Clifford, call him Kyoshi, he would just say, Ricardo, like, you know, how about, you know, if 10 people join a school, 10 are going to become blue belts. One is going to be the wet, one is going to be the best, one is going to be the worst. And maybe one or two of them can go to a tournament and just sort of like hold their own. And the rest of them are just, you know, recreational practitioners that their goals are different. They want to maybe just, you know, learn enough self-defense so that they feel confident. Or maybe they want to learn a certain, get to a certain level of fitness that they couldn't achieve participating in other group activities, right? Like, and I've, I've truly embraced that, man. Like I, you know, I looked at certain students that I've promoted to maybe a blue belt, a purple belt, a brown belt, and even black belt. I know that their performance level, when we talk about, you know, a, you know, an IBJJF competition, they'd be able to go out and hold their own in a bracket that age and weight, they would not be able to hold their own. And I'm perfectly fine with that. You know, there's a lot of times when, when instructors are younger, like they sort of like hold that uh, in their head and hold students in belts too long. I know that my guys that are supposed to be competitors are gonna be solid. And I know my guys that are not supposed to be competitors are gonna be solid for their own potential. 